I have just lost my light, but this is South Africa, so we are used to load shedding. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to our Thursday night call. Um, I love the Thursday night calls, but tonight's call specifically, I am very excited. And why? Because we get to speak to our brand partners, um, because that is what our business is all about. So tonight, we are going to speak about the Marissa's incentive, but not, re not about the incentive, because by now you should know where to qualify, what to do, how it all works, right? But we have a few of our brand partners who is really tracking for this incentive. And, what, and, and we are going to tap into them to find out what they do. Okay? Um, and what is so great is that we have brand partners that's tracking that is senior stars, um, actually executives, stars, um, and brand partners that's on our lower ranks. And it, we've got some silvers as well and some golds and platinums that's also tracking, but we are really tapping into our brand partners that is currently tracking very well and doing enrollments in the current environment because we know, listen, we know it is load shedding, we know things are tough out there, but we still have brand partners that's doing incredibly well with this incentive and we know this, that this incentive rewards enrollments, reactivations, rank ups and if your brand partners rank up so we are going to be chatting to four i'm very excited to be four of our brand partners to find out how they are doing it um in the current environment because they are bringing in new business into our young living business they are spreading the love of oil by being passionate about it so i'm very excited and tonight and you can hear the excitement in her voice i can see margo is looking at me because she knows how excited i am about this so we've got four we're going to start with monique ellison um she is from pretoria how are you doing monique can you hear me i cannot hear you can anybody else hear monique let's just see Okay, so Monique, while you sort out your sound, your microphone, just test your microphone. I think let's go to the next person. We'll come back to you, Monique. We're not forgetting about you. Let's try that. Monique, maybe the best thing to normally do is log out, log back in, and just test your sound. So Talita, I see you on the call. Can I come straight to you? How are you doing? Oh, there you are. Hey. Good and you. I'm great. Thanks. Lead us all the way from Cape Town. Um, so, so you are always your name when it comes to incentives, when it comes to things, your name is always at the top. I mean, you recently got that magnificent bag, I think worth 40 something thousand rand with all those amazing oils. Um, so but and you're also tracking very well for the Mauritius Incentive. So do you please give us a little bit of an introduction, who you are, a little bit about your family, what you do outside of Young Living. So let's just let, who are you? <laughs> okay, well, um, yes, I, I grew up in Cape Town. I went to school here and um, I went to Stellenbosch University. I actually have an art and education degree in art and English and um, yeah, although I'm Afrikaans speaking, but I love um, English. And I met my husband in matric on an entrepreneurial um, uh, sort of competition that we entered. And um, yeah, about three years after we met, we got married. And then I moved to Pretoria. We lived there for um, 16 years. Um, and then, yeah, we moved back to Cape Town in 2016 and I've got four kids oldest is matric and the youngest is grade double R so it's quite a spread <laughs> oh, I'm sure <laughs> but, busy, yeah. right? uh, 
so in between um you're yeah, looking after them and um doing some i do pastel um portrait drawings and um then you're yeah, and obviously i do oils <laughs> so um yeah the oils sort of got a bit bigger than the portrait drawing um yeah we um both me and my husband we have our own businesses so we work from home so yeah we've never um been in a formal working environment so the young living thing just sort of fitted in with my lifestyle very well so yeah and um yeah so obviously i like everything that's um to do with art and um with um you know i i read a lot i do some um crocheting i do some baking i do some needlework everything that a mom needs to be able to do so yeah that's it and i'm very passionate about life so yeah i uh, i love spending time with my kids <laughs> i mean i know that everybody on this call tonight is very passionate about young living um and because and it comes across i mean when i met you in cape town for the first time um, your testimonials on the oils and what it does for you is really amazing. But just give us a little bit of an introduction about um, Young Living, how did you join, and just why are you doing this business? Um, well, yeah, um, it took, took about a year for, um, uh, I mean, Annabelle's team, which is amazing. It's such a great and supportive team. And um, really an uh, amazing network of ladies. I absolutely love them, even though I've only met half of them over the phone or WhatsApp. Um, but yeah, it took Annabelle about a year, I think, um, to sort of introduce or convince me to try Young Living. Um, I She's sort of family, but um, more a friend. And um, yeah, I... I went for coffee at a house with my mother-in-law and um, when I walked in, it was just diffusers and oils everywhere and the smell just um, hit me and it was so amazing. And I, I just um, decided right then and there that I needed to get a kit for my birthday. So in June this year, it would be two years um, since I joined Young Living and um, I've never been um yeah i'm unhappy about that decision that was one of the best decisions i've ever made so thanks to annabelle and um yeah i got my kit in june 2021 and um, with the plan of only having my it in my house and um making my house smell amazing never realizing all the medicinal benefits and all the benefits the oils um would have for my family and all my friends and um yeah that's how i got into it and of course after i've used it for a month or two i couldn't stay quiet about how amazing these oils are so it didn't just stop with me it sort of turned into a business because everywhere i went the oils went with me and of course, um, everywhere I go, I keep telling everybody about them. <laughs> so that's it. I sort of think that's the, the thing about this business, right? Is if you're passionate about it, you talk to everybody that you come in contact with, um, and your passion about it just gets, I mean, you just infect other people. And we know that in this industry, yes, our product is amazing, but people don't necessarily join the business, they join people. So if your passion comes across, people join you because of that passion. So, so that is, I mean, and, and you, sh you, I mean, you, ex the, it's just, the oils are coming out of your pores. And I'm not meaning the little oils, I mean the passion for the oils are coming out of your pores. So, so that's really, really amazing. So, um, so you are tracking very well. I mean, like I said, you're tracking well for all our incentives. So, which means you are consistently growing your business. So do you want to share us just a little bit that you, what are you currently doing? What is your secret to success? So we know that, that you're not in the business so long, right? But you are doing great things. So do you want to talk us about what you're currently doing? Where are you finding people? And how are you consistently growing your business? Because you don't stop. <laughs> Thanks, Lee. Um, yeah, well, um, I, I wrote down a few things just so I don't forget some of it. But um, yeah, like I said, now I, 
I absolutely constantly am sharing about Young Living. If I meet somebody at school and I pick up my kids and they're complaining about their sinus issues, they will definitely hear from me what I use um, for my sinus. Even though they might not want to, I will definitely share it with them. And I do have a roller with me everywhere I go. I have oils in my handbag. And if some, someone's kids get injured, I've got my aloe vera ointment with oils. So um, yeah, my oils are always with me and I keep talking about it. Um, and then I think um, the thing for me, the past couple of months, um, again, I would love to thank Annabelle for that is um, she taught me how to do workshops and you know, all the basics of doing a workshop, the first few workshops she did with me, just to sort of give me the confidence and um, show me how. And um, the past couple of months, I have had a workshop or two or three every month. So that is the main thing that I find works um, absolutely the best. I don't think I have a member on ER um, all my members that stay on ER come from the workshop. So if I met them personally and I build a trust relationship with them, it can be school friends, it can be somebody in the state that we live in that I've invited. It can be my business builders also invite their contacts to my workshops. Um, so I, I just find that having that one-to-one -one conversation and sharing with them how I use the product and actually showing them what it does. And, you know, that has been the main thing for me, how I have grown. And um, I always try not to push them also into an immediate sale because sometimes I think um, they need to think it over and they need to talk a little bit more with me. So um, like in January when I enrolled so many people, most of those people are from building trust relationships for a few months already. It's not an overnight thing. So I, I think the main thing I want to tell or share with people is don't give up. If, if somebody doesn't commit um, the first time, give them a roller and gifting. That's the other thing. I always gift stuff. So um, I don't do a workshop to make a profit. Um, I, I, I do it for 50 Rand just to get somebody to commit to come. Um, it costs me more than that, but in the end, I get so much more from it than they actually do. So, um, so even though somebody doesn't enroll um, the day of the workshop or the first time I make contact with them, after a few times um, speaking to them or giving them something when they need it, I do find that they do come back because obviously the product works, so they want more of it. So that's the main thing I, I think how I've been growing. And then once I sign up somebody on ER, I communicate with them every month. So I'll tell them about the specials, not only on the group, one-on-one, -on -one, make contact with them because I find with groups, lots of messages just pass people by. So they see it, but they don't really register until you have a one on one conversation with them. So, and this person's need is different to other person's need. So it doesn't help that I recommend the same product to everybody because that just doesn't work. So, um, and some, most of the time, I try to have a face to face conversation with people that are enrolled on ER to make sure that they know exactly how it works. So um, I would say workshops, I advertise to get people to my workshops. Um, I, I do do it on social media. I do it on WhatsApp groups in our estate, in our community, um, but also lots of word of mouth. Also through my business builders, they invite people. Um, and sometimes I get two people at a workshop um, but I still do the workshop because those two people get two other people to join. So, um, so yeah, definitely workshop, being passionate about it, sharing about it, building trust relationships. That's a big thing. And definitely following up with members, even members that haven't ordered in a few months. This month might be the month that they really need you to follow up with them. They might have just forgotten about Young Living 
because we get so busy with our everyday lives and we are conditioned to open the cabinet and take out a panada before we take a headache roller. So actually for me, it took like two years to get to the point where I take my headache roller instead of going to the cupboard and taking out a panada. So it's really a long-term game. It's not a quick fix thing. So you need to just keep going, if I can, you know, if that makes sense. <laughs> no, that's really great. So I'm going to recap from what I took from you, right? Because I'm ferociously <laughs> typing away here. Um, so I've got workshops, workshops, workshops. Um, it's important for people to come to workshops, even if it's two people at a workshop, get consistently having them. Then consistency, making sure that people know what you do, when you do it, all the time. Building trust. Don't give up. Um, also giving people, gifting people a roller because when speak, but also speaking to that person's needs. So if you speak to somebody, doesn't matter where you meet them, you give them something that speaks to their need, right? Yes. And when you have somebody coming to your events, they must have skin in the game. Even if you are, um, it's not costing you what they actually spend, it's costing you much more, but getting them to commit because once they've got skin in the game or once they pay a little for those workshops and know that they were coming up, follow up follow up follow up okay it's because uh, because people don't um relate to each other personally anymore it's like um we never ask somebody how are you and really want to answer back so i just find if i follow up with somebody that i sold a sinus roller to last month and i'm like how are you doing are you feeling better the fact that you care about them more about them than about making a sale that's really what's working for me so yeah exactly and that's what the other point that you made is building trust right and that's building same thing as building relationships right as you're building that relationship and and the long-term thing because we know that in um direct selling or network marketing or whatever you want to call it is the effort that you put in today does not show tomorrow right it takes a few months to actually for you to reap the reward of it um, and then the one point that i found very interesting that you mentioned and it's such an important point is is when you get somebody to join your team you access their contact list because you've got building relationships with them so you've got access to their people and once one of or one or two of those people join you get access to their people right and that's how you work move from your warm market which is the people that you know to a cold market which is people that yes. you don't know but building relationships with people getting them to trust you because you are in it for the long time and you are authentic um, and then to open up their contacts so so thank you Tanita. this was really a lot um, i hope that everybody else made the notes that if you haven't made notes this call will be on the youtube channel tomorrow so that you can re-listen um, and get information so thanks for joining us um, good luck, and we will definitely see you in Mauritius. So thanks for your time, Lita. A pleasure. Thank you, Ling. Bye. Bye. We're going to come back to you, Monique. How are you doing? I'm good in your time. Great. I can hear you. How are you? Okay. Um, um, can I have a Mauritius wave? <laughs> yes, let's do that. <laughs> You're definitely coming along because you're also one of the other people that got the big, um, the bag. Uh -huh oils but so i mean if you listen to Talita, there's no secret sauce right but but it's just so tell about well, there is a secret sauce right so what is your secret sauce so let's see uh, different <laughs> okay so i can all first tell me tell us who you are a little bit what are you doing okay. your work what do you do in your free time okay <laughs> my name is monique addison 31 years old and I'm married to Clinton Addison. So we ended up at adding sons. So we add sons for Addison, for Clinton and Matthew. And I'm a financial administrator for ophthalmologist for eye specialists. So it's uh, full time as well. But I do enjoy it with patients and now also get to enjoy the young living side also. So in some free time, when I do have free time, <laughs> I like to spend time, uh, quality time with my family, of course. And then um, also play a bit of netball, invest time in a young living business. Yeah, that's an awe. <laughs> I'm playing a bit of netball. <laughs> and then I um, also do uh, connect with people. So that's also my passion. So it's, um, I firstly also wanted to say thank you for the opportunity to come here. 
Um, oh, it's a pleasure. Before the introduction to you. Oh, we, we love having you here because we like, yeah. so this is mastermind call. So we're picking the brains of the masterminds, right? So before we get to what works for you, um, because what's, what's great about you is that you're still working full time. You have to make, you've got a, a, a job and a family. So, but before, so tell, tell us a little bit about your young living story and what, how you got into the business. Um, I personally know a little bit about it, but tell us a little bit more. Okay. Okay, so I joined as a member uh, 29 July 2020. That is just as a member. Just so my mother, my mother usually like shared about different ways how to to use essential oils, but especially the pure like therapeutic grade essential oils, not just for the fragrance of essential oils. So when I first started, it was I really wanted to join with the premium start bundle, but. I couldn't, but I didn't want just to stop there. Um, I wanted to start the journey already, not wait three months or so. So I started with the desert mist and a couple of oils. And being a mom of two boys, uh, natural alternatives and the quality that Young Living provides really changed my perspective, especially when I started with tea tree oil and in the bum cream. So that was really a change for me because it's really, really effective um, with anything you can use it. So um, especially when my boys, when they ask for their tummy dry stroller, they're like, mama, I actually look oily. So when my tummy hurts, I have a discomfort and like they want the tummy dry, so the green one. So that also changed my perspective. So a child will tell you if something doesn't work for them. They will not say something works for them if it doesn't. So that was really for me um yeah quite a, a start point to get in but then that was just as a member point I really had a, like a slow start <laughs> to to the business side but then it, it picked up really really fast there as well so my enroller also then um didn't pursue the young living business side she had different opportunities also so but I had um, I still have wonderful Kristen for you that just suddenly popped me a message um, and said, is there anything that she can help, anything that she can assist? And I was like, I really like this journey that I'm on, but um, okay, let me start, let me start, let me try. <laughs> so I, I don't share a lot of this on social media, but uh, my husband had an accident. Um, he lost two of his fingers, two of his limbs. So, but just, I was in a very low stage, but the Lord has just been picking up us from there. And that was, that was last year, May. So um, then just the business side just opened up and just to share uh, my story, my experience, and also the Young Living products for myself and for my family. So, um, and also what the business means to us. And really profound, just something that I wanted to share lastly about an oil is about abundance. So abundance meant for me to, be able to have an overflow, but also, but to give to others. So that's really for me about, uh, there's a lot of people that can't maybe experience the young living oils, but through incentives and through everything, I couldn't start with a premium starter bundle, but I have, I have a bag now when I have <laughs> all of these <laughs> oils that I can share. So that's, that's really touching for me that I could um, be able to, to be there as well through that. Yeah, and that's that's what I sort of before for I mean you briefly touched on it, and I, I quickly want to sort of share that part of it, and that's a spectacular story. Like you were, um, you were committed brand partner, um, customer, or more or like preferred customer, using the product, experiencing the products. You didn't really, you were sort of at a low point of your life. Um, your upline left the business to pursue something else, and you, then Kristen reached out to you, which is your uplines, 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 upline. And she reached out to you and just said, do you need some help? Or if you want, um, please let me know if there's something I can assist you with. And you just grab onto that opportunity. Um, so, so, so that is for me a beautiful story. Um, um, not that it shows that we shouldn't forget about the people in our teams that we didn't enroll because we do not know um, like the star quality that is down there, if we just that can start, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just an opportunity, right? So, yeah. so uh, you are like you are taking very well for this incentive. He's also no. like I said, you consistently since last year January, you consistently qualify for incentives. You consistently enroll new people into the business. Do you want to share with us, please, your magic sauce on what huh? are you doing? get these people it's quite a full-time job so young living is your side hustle right 
Yeah, and I really wanted to go like full on, but I didn't just want to leave it there and said, okay, I'm sitting at, sitting at a desk the whole day and I don't have this opportunity. And I'm really, really thankful for, for each and everything. So there's actually three things that I want to share. is love on your members, um, be unique. And there's two tips I want to share on enrollment points. So um, firstly, love on your members. If I might just quickly read you something. Um, main one currency is 13 verse seven in the Amplified says, love bears all things, regardless of what comes. Believe all things, looking for the best in each one. Hopes all things, remaining steadfast during difficult times. Endure all things without weakening. So love on your members. Listen in, listen before you <laughs> ask them how okay how they're doing, how the products, but really just listen, checking daily or, or weekly what they need, what um what how you can serve them, and also send them the links to for young living like every Thursday because this this has been really amazing because I, I haven't really gone up here since like this year actually and it's just I've been missing out so <laughs> even I've, I've been doing the business but truly there's there's some really amazing training that's on here every Thursday so really connect your people and send them the link maybe that's okay let me join in so you'll never know who you might introduce young young living products or the business side of young living too so the second one is be unique be passionate about young living oh, yeah so <laughs> Sorry, before you carry on. So uh, there was something in that in the verse that you read that was say looking for the best in everyone, right? Yeah. Which is which is sort of just like give everybody the opportunity, right? Because we do not know what people's needs are, what people's situations are, yeah. um, and what, what is happening in their life, right? So um, give everybody. So a lot of time uh, we sort of categorize in young living specifically. We categorize our people as product users and then um, brand partners, right? People building the business or so, but we sometimes forget that, especially in the current environment, everybody can do with a little bit of extra money or a, um, additional income. So I know that for you specifically, it's made a really big difference to your life um, and the things that you're able to do. But so I just want to sort of put that out to everybody that give everybody this opportunity um, that young living one of we've got amazing walls, but another amazing product we have is our opportunity, our business part of it. So sorry, be, I think this next one was be unique, right? <laughs> uh, be unique, even if you're passionate about young living, and I'm passionate about um, just an example about netball. Die dier kan beweer. So, <laughs> so <laughs> but it's 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 really um it's, it's it's doing myself good as well to exercise as well and to use the oils before you go. So in any case, um, for example, all the players perform uniquely, and and they do it excellently um, in their team with the different roles from shooters, defenders, and their center passes, and to reach the same goal. No pun intended, but also the same for unique way to represent young living. How I represent it will not be the same as how you would represent it, and that's that's what makes it unique. So not to be someone else, a top and roller or uh, a platinum leader, but just share your uniqueness in your unique way. So that really um, stood out for me. So, yeah. And I also wanted to connect it with you uh, were saying, Lee. Another example, if you want to share like five products and please make one of the products. It really stood out for me where we are on a mentorship program. Um, and it said like, do you give the opportunity, the business opportunity as a product? to your people so or to anyone so there's always that for myself I mean it's it's from a member to a brand partner there is an opportunity from the product the product that's, that's working for you uniquely but are you also one of the products is it also to become a brand partner of the business side so yeah that also <laughs> connected in with yeah. that so I know I mean I, I think what also think I know that um, Talita you as well. I, I think it's what Talita also can do. And if you can sort of just so yes, be unique who you are. Find your niche, right? Um, yeah. Find out who your audience is. Speak to speak to <coughs> unique who you are because there's so many people out there that's got the same pain points as you. 
So I'm sure, and then offer them the solution. So I know that you focus a lot because I mean, you've got three kids, then you've got the kids. So, so focusing on them and sharing a lot of stuff for the kids. So I think that's where a lot of your, your enrollments comes from is just by sharing your life, what you're doing with your family and being uniquely you, but then also attracting people that can sort of relate to the things that you're going through, right? Definitely, definitely. And um, just lastly, Lee, there's um, two things that I wanted to add on to when you enroll a new member. Um, firstly, then listen really what they need, not what you want to sell to them or provide to them. Even all the products are amazing, but if we really, really tap into what the new potential member needs, then we will be on the spot. So um, always have the PV amount what the first order will be in mind because that for me was um, a change because um, regarding also have the incentive and the incentive criteria in mind because even if you miss out on a 49 pv you just send a link or they sign up and you see okay we're so excited this is so overwhelming i have a new member it's very very excited but is it oh or 99 pv because i had it i had this <laughs> so it's almost like we like to, to spawn up I, I, I like to spawn my members especially especially, uh, especially with uh, a, a lavender lip balm or a, another young living product or you send out a, a roller set or so but to save a bit on a shipping and to push you to a 50 pv over or to 100 pv maybe you can add an extra gift to say a lavender lip balm or an orange i mean from this amazing fast uh, start bonus with a 50 percent we had this last week i really need everyone is going to need to go and listen again but um that will just change the um your your, your commissions for you in line for the incentive as well for the if you think of the Mauritius incentive if it just pushes your new member to over 50 or to 100 just by adding a little something for them um, you save that extra shipping if you send them a gift as well um, but in any case um, what did, there was something else I wanted to fit in there sorry um, but they will also experience the lavender lip balm or the other oil they won't just start with um, something that they first enrolled with so that was just something for me um, yeah, especially for just to keep the specific incentive. You, you are enrolling someone. So just keep in mind the specific products. You don't need to ask them how many PVs your order. <laughs> they would know. They wouldn't know. This is done new. So, I mean, it, it's it's for you, it, it's better. For for the member, it, they, they're going to add, um, have something extra in their box when they open it from you to welcome them to this journey. And then lastly, if I must share another thing, <laughs> Yeah, sure. Okay, okay. Um, uh, even the price increase, because I'm, 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 I'm better with mothers and babies and so and so, but um, with Feather the Owl, for instance, it's it's really not a bummer with, after three years, it went up from 700 to from member to 850, because this is really actually an opportunity for a 20 PV for Feather with the lavender. There's just under 200 rand difference from a to a kids collection bundle that's going to give you 53 pv that's going to give you more commissions and then it's it's more young living products that a mom and everyone really needs from <laughs> lavender tummy dye gentle baby and a roller state a retention gift that young living provides so that was for me quite an um, eye-opener from zero incentive points or whichever uh, and a 20 PV, maybe just one feather option, just for your new members. Would they be interested in our kids collection bundle? So that was just, and then you you get zero points to some points, three or five. <laughs> That's great. So so I think the one, and I'll, I'll recap now what sort of I picked up from you. But the biggest thing, my mom okay. uses, it's got two ears, one mouth. Use it in that proportion, right? So we listen to people more than we talk. Once you understand who the person are in front of you, once you understand what their needs are, then you can give them a solution, right? But so we really need to spend time. And that is the, what the building trust part is, is you spend time with the person in front of you, really get to know them. And once you know what their pain points and their life is like, that is when you can actually give them a solution. So that's, that's, so that's really great. So to re recap, love on your members, connect with people, Look for the best in everyone, 
be uniquely you. Um, don't try to be somebody else. Share who you are. Listen to people's needs. Follow up on and add another product so that they can save on shipping, etc. Maximize the fast start bonus, and this is a great one. I love this. I love this tip. Maximize the fast start bonus. Get to know your products and product PV, and maximize the compensation plan. So these are really, really. Um, really amazing points. Is there anything that I missed out on? No, 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 no. You are going to Mauritius. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, yeah I will, if I can implement this, I will be going to Mauritius. So, so Monique, oh, thank sure. you very much. Okay. I'll share this with everybody in the chat as well. Um, thank you. So thank you for joining us. Um, thank you for sharing your passion. Um, good luck. I know you. we're going to be seeing you in Mauritius. And thank you for being uh, really awesome job thank you thank you so much okay thank you bye um the next person i would like to introduce is kathy um how are you kathy are you on the, i saw your see your name i'm not sure if uh, hi <laughs> okay. oh, there you are how are you doing hi kathy? yes here i am thank you so much for having me so um kathy thank you for joining us tonight i am so happy to have you um i know that you were like sort of not oh gosh i don't i'm like a little bit nervous um but you know what we are among friends um this is as you can see an informal conversation so we are so excited to have you so please tell us a little bit who you are what does your family look like what do you do in your spare time if you have spare time um and just tell us a little bit about you Okay, um, so I'm from Pretoria, grew up here, um, always lived here. I am a qualified teacher. I am married and I have two small children, uh, almost four year old and a five year old, who's, who will also be six later this year. So um, still very young. I started working for myself last year, left full time teaching, um, started a little play group here at my house and I also teach baby simulation classes to mommies. Um, so yeah, that's kind of me in a nutshell. <laughs> not um, not that's too so crazy cool. and exciting. Yeah, so I mean, then if you're a teacher, this should come natural to you, right? So um, <laughs> so, so, now, so, tell us a little bit about your long, young living story and how did you start um, with the products and how did you also uh, get into the business part of things. Okay, so sorry, I've got a I've had flu, so I'm a bit um, tickly in my throat. But I started using like Young Living about three and a half years ago. My son was six months old, and my daughter was um, about two and a half, and we were just not sleeping. And one midnight incident. I don't know. Is it just me? Can you guys still hear Kathy? Just give me a thumbs up. Um, she looks like she's stuck. We lost Kathy. Okay. Uh, um, Kathy, maybe if you are going to just come back. It's also you frozen. So while we are waiting for Kathy to come back, um, I'm going to call on. I saw Hester on the call earlier. Uh, I think her camera is off. Hester, how are you doing? Hi, Lee. Hi, Esther. Hi. How are you doing? I'm fine, and you? Thanks. thanks. So, um, Esther, so I know you, and I know about your family, but you and I know a lot of people know you as well. Um, and I think you just, you're a brand new mom, well, not brand new, but you've got a small baby. You always do great things with incentive. Um, I know that you took some time out to just to properly raise your baby and give a lot of attention and then out of nowhere you came um back on the leaderboard so i was so excited to see that so plus please introduce us to who you are for those who don't know you okay um lee i'm esther Strado. um yeah but i think most of you um, might know me but i've got three kids um one is seven year seven years old three years old and seven months old so it's been a busy time for me when my little one arrived and I totally fell back and just felt like everything 
was sliding underneath me and I couldn't get a grip. And then um, with some planning and stuff, I made a plan to uh, sustain my business on a, another level. Um, you just, I just went in, into a different mindset and told myself, well, if I'm not going to do it with children, I'm not going to do it without children. Okay, so um, I was introduced to Young Living in 2019 by Copeland, my sister. She learned me everything about Young Living, about oils, and she's an expert in the business side of Young Living. She knows the VO out of her head, and she trained me for all everything about Young Living. I'm so grateful for her. And then, um, yeah, and then I started Young Living, um, doubtedly, because I thought, well, what is this? And the more um, I told people about it, the more like uh, they, they just love the smell and the taste and everything about the oils. And I said to myself, well, why don't you start a business with it? And so I began starting a business and I'm not looking back. I will never leave these. I, I just love the oils. I love Young Living. I love the community. So for me, it's a really, a really, really nice business to do with kids. It is challenging, but you have to, I mean, everything in life is challenging. Um, so yes, I just love doing the business side of it. And that's what's great is that this is real conversation, right? So we don't say, oh, this business is easy. You can juggle it with even with a seven month old. <laughs> so this is what the reality of this is. And this is why I like it so much. Um, I mean, I, I mean, I, I saw your, your and Copeland's towels. Natalie sent shared the photos with us. So you've got, I mean, you were on the beach. You made a towel made with, with essential oils on it and your number and Copenhagen. And all that. So, so it's just, I think the passion for the product really shines through. So, so that's really, really amazing. So can you sort of, with, with all these changes in your life, can you sort of tell us how are you doing it in the current environment and how are you, do you manage to juggle amongst, I know that you are busy with farming, with the kids, um, as well as, I mean, you are sort of, and I'll, I'll say this, you are sort of in the middle of nowhere. Um, so you, you managed to grow the business in a very small town, uh, consistently grow. So how are you doing it? Okay, so um, yes, I live in Webstead in the Free State and my husband's a farmer, so it's a rural town, but um, it's a town, um, I, I must say that it's a, it's a, um, fast moving forward down everybody's like um searching for new stuff and always perceivable for new stuff and so on so it's very nice and i have my friends that is absolutely just amazing and they support me and so on but um yes i do um tend to educate people with intent so when i speak to them i really listen to their needs and when they ask me stuff, I really listen and uh, speak with intent and help with intent. Um, because sometimes when you um, sell oils to people, you tend just to sell it to them and not sell it with them with intent. Um, to listen to them and hear from them what they need and what they want um, is two different things. So you need to sell oils with intent. And then um, I also feel like Young Living is giving an opportunity to us um, uh, with the fragrance workshops that you can really, really build your business because it's a platform to work on. And not only will they like um, come to your fragrance workshop, but they will want to know more. And it's such a nice place to start. So I think with um, promoting opportunities within Young Living is very important. Um, so one of my biggest selling points um, is a weight loss trio, which I do with Ninxia. Everybody always asks me, Esther, how did you lose all this weight after your baby? And I'm like, guys, seriously, this is just, I just use the oils. If people will just want to listen and just use the oils, they'll feel amazing. And once they see the results, you will never have a person that's not on ER. So that is... Um, yeah, that is very um, important. 
And then also, like they said, workshops. I feel like there's nothing left for me to say because they uh, they actually said it all. But um, workshops is so important. Workshops, 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 and it can be it, um, it can easily be done. It doesn't need to be uh, spectacular. It just needs to be human. And then people really buy into the business. And what I actually do on my, in my workshops and on a daily basis, I give people oils to taste and I give people oils to smell because it, um, you know, when you smell it and when you taste it every day, it makes a big difference. And it, um, it, it just inspires people. The smell and taste of stuff inspires people. I also make people uh, food. I actually make them food and little bites and so on so that they can experience the oils in another way than just experiencing the oil, um, holding it in their hands. So they have to know where they can use the oil, how they can use the oil, all the different opportunities there is. So that's great. And then another selling point is selling yourself first and then selling the product. Because if you don't use the product and you don't know the product, and you're not educated about the product, then you cannot sell the product to other people because you're not educated yourself. So educate yourself about the product and then don't be afraid to tell people about the product. Um, uh, follow up, sell with integrity. Integrity gives you real freedom because um, you have nothing to fear since you have nothing to hide. And we have a great product for that because we have nothing to hide. We sell with integrity, that's young living. So that's, that's just great. And um, yeah, the other thing that I wanted to say is um, it takes patience. Um, I mean, um, it's been, I've been actually out of the business for seven months now, and now I'm back into the business because I get the time and I can rearrange my stuff to get back into the business. And um, I keep telling this to myself, and I keep telling this to myself, that patience is not the ability to wait, but the ability, patience is not the ability to wait, but the ability to keep a good attitude while waiting. So don't think that stuff has stopped and stalled. There's a time for everything. And just like grab every second, say yes to everything. And then um, some of your problems are not the result of your destiny. They are the result of your decision. So try, try making meaningful decisions so that you can move forward. Yes, and then um, uh, build your business and know your VO, because when you know your VO, then you can do the silver bound bonus. And then when, you, when someone reaches star, they get the 500 rand star bonus. And I promise you that is such a big positive because they will buy again. Because not only do they get an amazing product, but they actually get money back for their product. And um, because you have, you known, you know your VO and you build your business to get them to store. So that's so important. And then, um, yes, well, actually, the last thing that I'm going to say is um, whoever sows generously will also reap generously. So if you give your samples to people, and you put it out there and you tell people how amazing this is and how it works and let them experience it, um, then it's just great. A while ago, I um, watched the call of um, Ulrika Christchurch. And um, I think that everybody should watch that call. Lee, it was on the focus group last year when I was there. And he said that he, um, he, he spoke about smelling peppermint. And then he started the business. And it's so important for you every day to get inspired by just going and smelling your oils. Because if, it, if, it, um, if the oil does to other people what it does to me when I'm smelling it, then everybody would want to sell this amazing product. Yeah, that's great. Um, I, and you know, I've, made, I've typed a, a storm here um, and I'll post it in the group. So for me, listen to needs, speak with intent. Um, I'm really glad that you touched on the fragrance workshop and the opportunity through that because a lot of people don't understand necessarily essential oils. 
But now what we're doing with the fragrance, right? everybody understands fragrance, everybody loves fragrance, right? And everybody wants to make their own fragrance. So this is really an introduction for people to get excited. And then once you have them, you talk about the opportunity, you talk about the benefit, you talk about what essential oils can do for you, you talk about toxin-free living. But, but everybody, if you say, come to a workshop, I'm going to try to teach you how to make your own fragrance. I mean, who's not going to say yes, right? So I'm really glad that you talk about that. Then the weight loss trio, if please put in there, because you have really, I mean, I saw you just after you had the baby, and then I saw photos of you now, and in seven months, it is really amazing what you achieved. Um, so please put in the chat for us what you're doing. Um, you've got everybody in the office on, <laughs> on your weight loss trio, um, and we are seeing ex results at the office already. So please type in the chat for everybody what you're doing. Um, workshops, be human daily activity, get people to experience oils, cooking and baking with oils. Um, I was so jealous that I wasn't in Bloemfontein because I saw the snacks that you brought to the event um, and it really looks delicious. But I had some of your food before, so I have to say that. Um, educate yourself, follow up, sell with integrity, patience, it's not the, uh, I love this quote, but let me put it, patience is not the ability to wait, but the ability to keep a good attitude while waiting. I really love that quote so much. Say yes to everything, even if you don't know how to do it, you will find out how to do it, right? Um, and then know your virtual office, uh, focus on Silverbound, give samples and let people experience our amazing product. I think, uh, is there anything I missed out? No, that's, <laughs> that's it, Lee. So, um, Esther, thank you for always. Um, it's, it's, it's great to have you on the, on the call. Um, so thank you for making time. I know this is a busy time of evening for you, but thank you for making time for us. Thank you for sharing this amazing information with us. That's a pleasure, Lee. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, and I've, I've, I mean, my, I've, I've watched some of your, your videos and the daughter, my favorite, I mean, the one that your daughter goes in the oils and the stickers, it was amazing. So, so let's keep up the great work in this last time we call. It's a pleasure, Lee. Bye. Bye. Uh, I'm sorry. And then you're coming back to Kathy. Hi, huh? Kathy. Welcome back. I see we lost you there. Um, yeah. So welcome back to the call. Thank you. We have um, unscheduled load shedding. So oh, that's the worst. <laughs> we we, we, we yeah. basically have a schedule and then the schedule change, right? So, so, yeah. so you told us a little bit about you yourself. Um, you were talking about me. I think you lost you when you started talking about your young living journey. So do you yes. Want to yes. Um, so I think I was saying that my kids were really little and we weren't sleeping and, um, you know, it was just hard. I was still teaching full time then and being up all night between a six month old and a two and a half year old was just getting me down. So I was scrolling on Instagram in the middle of the night and I found this post by Celeste, um, Walter's in the Cape actually, and I'm in Pretoria, and she was advertising an oil um, and feather and talking about how it helps sleep. And I thought this stage I'll do anything. So I um, contacted Celeste and um, enrolled with her. And within that week, my two and a half year old started sleeping through. Oh, wow. That changed my life. And I was like, I don't know what this is. This stuff is amazing. So I then got um, a dewdrop starter kit for our bedroom as well to help with my sleep. And then for the next three years, I was just, I just used the oils. Um, I didn't do it as a business. And then last year, when I started my own business and working for myself, um, I suddenly you know, as a teacher, you have lots of contact with the kids and through COVID, you know, we had no contact with parents. So um, suddenly working for myself, I had all these mommies um, that I was seeing daily, um, you know, kids coming into my home, little babies coming into my home. And, you know, when as mommies, you start chatting and you say, oh, my baby's not sleeping or, you know, we're teething or I've got this rash. And it just, it kind of, the business just happened for me because I could not help myself. I just kept telling them about oils. And then I would, same as the other lady said, I would gift them with oils. And I would say, oh, give me a moment. I'm going to mix you a roller quickly. And I 
pop away and I'd mix something up and I'd send them home with it. And um, it got to a point where more and more mommies wanted to, you know, get more oils and they wanted to um, get more products. And I just thought, oh my goodness, what now? So I contacted Celeste and I said to her, listen, <laughs> um, this is happening. I think I should do this as a business. And I think within two weeks, um, Celeste and Anna, because they're all my upline, um, they had had a chat and Anna phoned me and she said, pick a date, I'm flying up to teach a class for you. And I was, I just thought, whoa, that's scary, but that's amazing. And that was my first ever class that I attended because I'd enrolled with um, someone who was in a completely different province than me. So I almost had like no guidance, but yeah. um, this is what's amazing about I think young living and doing this business that you're not in it alone. Um, if you have the correct team and I'm blessed to have fallen in an amazing team, um, just this past weekend, AD flew up to teach a class for me. And I'm just so thankful that they're always willing to help me grow my business. They know where my goals lie, what I'm aiming to do, and they support me fully. So um, that helps me a lot. I have an amazing supportive upline. And then I've also been very lucky to find like-minded women um, who are now my downline. And we work together, we build together. And like the other ladies, I think Talita said it and um, Monique said it, you know, we have classes. So we have classes often. Um, we've actually started doing some baby markets. And I think that's for me, if there's any advice I can give is pick your niche um, you can't I'm not going to be able to persuade I don't know um, a woman of 60 or 70 to get specific oils um, it's a lot easier for me to connect with moms that are a similar age to me that are in a similar stage of their life because that we have that in common so um I focus mostly and it's kind of the only people I have contact with and my entire I would say cold market that I've now that I'm going through is just moms that I'm meeting we're sitting at swimming you know we're watching our kids swim and the mom says oh her child's been sick again and I say well I'm having a class this weekend if you'd like to come and learn so just connecting with people who are in a similar stage of their life as you and um, giving them an alternative to uh, another batch of antibiotics or another cortisone cream. So just, I think, focus on what you know and um, yeah, just connect, connect with people who are in kind of similar stage of life. And, and, and that's really great because I mean, everywhere you go, obviously, you're, you're doing things for your children, you're going things for your children, are, and there's other, there's other parents who are going through the same things that you're going through, having the same need, um, and having the same pain points. And that gives you sort of the opportunity then to understand and listen up there. And I think that's the sort of the message that's coming so strongly tonight is that listen to the people, um, give them the solution, but um, being prepared, I love that gift with us because we know that the more that we hear, the more we make space for things to come to us. So that's really great. And, um, and if you speak authentically about your experience, people will be attracted to, to what you're saying and what you're doing. Yes. Yes. I always kind of tell them, well, this is, you know, what's happened with us. And this is how I use the oils. And this is how I started using the oils. And um, up until last week, my daughter had not been on antibiotics for 16 months, but last week we had to bite the bullet and go to the doctor because <laughs> she was quite ill. But all of last year, and every time I met a mom, like I would just blurt out, my kids have not been on antibiotics. <laughs> and they would yeah. be so amazed. And they would be like, but how are you doing this? And it's just, and then I kind of tell them our story and, um, you know, and it's the same thing. I don't, I'm not trying to sell anyone oils because it's not what it's about. It's a lifestyle. You have to embrace it as a lifestyle. You can't use an oil every two weeks and hope, you know, it's going to do something for you. You have to embrace the whole lifestyle, incorporate it into your home, incorporate it 
just into everything you do, um, you know, going more low tox. So when I talk to moms, I usually focus on that. And I say to them, it's not a quick fix. We've, yeah. I've been using oils for all, nearly four years. Mm -hmm. um, my kids are used to it. Um, you know, we, we use it daily. And that's, that's why I've had success in keeping them healthy. So, um, yeah, I think sharing authentically. Yeah, I think, and I think that also the key is that people don't have to throw the baby out with the water, the, water, the baby out of the water. Right, it's a process, right? It's not, like I said, it's not a quick fix, it's a lifestyle change. And people, I think a lot of times people hear uh, low tox living or high tox living, they sort of get panicky about it because I think now they have to start with everything. But it, it's like making small changes consistently um, and getting people to understand that I think is the key because nobody can maintain if you are throwing out anything, um, it's not, first thing, it's not affordable, you can't maintain it, um, you're overwhelmed. So just get people, this is bite sizes, I think, sort of, mm -hmm. um, a lot of Yes. So, so that's really, really great. So, Kathy, I'm just going to recap because I think we're running out of time. So, please, people with oils, I think everybody should find like minded people, classes. Um, I know that you focus on baby markets. Find your niche, speak to about everybody, everywhere you go, focus on what you know, share your experience, embrace the lifestyle, incorporate it into your home and everything that you do. And it's not a quick fit, it's a long term commitment. Um, anything else that you want to add? No. Awesome. Guys, I think this is really, really great. I really want to thank uh, Monique, Talita, Kathy, and Hester for joining the call tonight. Um, like me, I'm sure that you've learned a lot before we leave. Um, let me quickly just add a note in there in the chat room. Um, and I hope that you all learned as much as me tonight. Um, and I think that uh, themes are very common um, and there is some points and I think consistency is key. Have a wonderful evening. Um, we will see you at our launch call very soon. Have a wonderful evening and good luck to everybody. We'll see you in Mauritius. Bye.